What's up, Bag Talk family? Right now, we're sitting with Shanine Money, yes, owner sir. of a film business, photography. We're talking about somebody who's trying to scale at a large level, a female entrepreneur that can help a lot of female entrepreneurs. And I know she also has Kasuti Films University. Yes, sir. Uh, where she teaches other people <laughs> to run a photography business. I'm excited for this one. Nilski, how you feel about this one, bro? I'm hyped. Not gonna lie to you, right? Because I feel like we've had people come on the show where mm-hmm. it's like set in stone, right? Like yep. they've already done what they have to do. And that's great for them, but we want to have a different perspective, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm excited to even learn from what you have to say, because I'm sure we're gonna learn, right? Yep. Yes. And I'm sure you guys are excited too. So <laughs> let's just dive into it. Right? Like the first thing is mm-hmm. introduce yourself, right? And your brand and like just obviously y'all see y'all see the drip. I'm sure you guys see it, right? Like there's a reason why she's doing she's doing. So, so go ahead, I'm gonna pass it off to you. Um, I'm Shanine Money. Um, I own a photography and videography film business. I also do coaching programs. So I have an educational platform, you know, that's the off branch of Kasuti Films. It's called Kasuti Films University. So um, what we do, we teach about film photography we help you start your business and grow your business and scale it as well got it also i think i don't know if we mentioned this right how old are you again i'm 23 yeah y'all <laughs> that's, uh, that's impressive yeah. that's also very impressive. Extremely impressive yo a lot a lot of young people are starting to start their own business and everything so i know they're getting a lot of value out of this hmm. like i know that so absolutely for real and especially like our female listeners because you this is the first this is the first woman we've interviewed, it is. bro. It is. Hey, it that's is. one for the books. Yeah, <laughs> for real. Get, the, get that date down and everything. Right, right. <laughs> it's going to be legendary. So, I mean, with that being said, kind of just give everybody like an intro to how you got started. Because mm-hmm. to even start a business in the first place, mm-hmm. it takes some guts. Because yeah. it's, it's a very yeah. hard journey. We know it being business owners ourselves. So, just tell us like how you got into this. Um, Really, honestly, it goes way, way back to, I want to say, almost 10 years ago, um, I really started as an entertainer. Um, uh, a lot of people know it, that know me, they know that I was a all styles dancer before anything else. What? Um, so, you know, we in Brooklyn, shout out to Brooklyn, yeah. you know, uh-huh. this is the home of like, uh, what do you call flex dancing and, you know, okay. Brooke up and reggae and all those different type of dance moves, um, as well as like uh, break dancing and all that stuff. So. Mm-hmm. You know, I started as a dancer, um, you know, for many, many years I was under a company. Um, I'm not going to reveal the name, but I was under a certain company. Um, you know, I learned a lot of different things while I was in that company. Um, you know, it was like a local thing where we were trying to all get together. It was a big move it, mm-hmm. movement, but it was very local. Um, you know, in the tri-state area, everybody knew what we were doing and how we were moving. Um, but, you know, I started off with that. Uh, God moved me. Um, I started another company called Money Productions. Okay, um, you okay. know, my last name is Money, so, you know, uh-huh. I had started Money Productions. That's and okay. I was like, okay, you know, because I had a bad experience uh, business-wise with um, the other company, I said, you know what, I'm just going to start something new and just mm-hmm. try to do it the right way, the way I think it should be done. Mm-hmm. You know? uh, how old were you here? I was still in high school, man. I was like... Dang. I was still, I was a sophomore okay, in okay. high school, um, and then I think up until like my senior or junior year, mm-hmm. I kind of started and shifted into money production. So that was your second second business or second venture? Yeah, that was my second business venture, and that you was by myself. Yeah, I was in high school. That's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, different, she's she's different. She's different. I was in high school, man, and it was like, wow, like, you know, at the time I was, you know, operating in the world and kind of just, you know, just trying to make a name for myself. And I didn't realize that I was really developing my own kingdom, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and what I mean by that is just simply, you know, a lot of times we, we, we do a lot of different business ventures and things like that, but at the same time, we don't do it with a purpose. Um, a lot of times we don't even know our purpose. At that age, I didn't know. Yeah, 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 you know oh, what I mean. Um, so I kind of just was like, "All right, God, I, I know I want to do something. I'm very talented. I can move and I can shake. You know what I mean? But I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I just wanted to be Chris Brown background dancer. And I, was, I didn't have no dreams of really owning a business. Really, like, yeah. I didn't know what what that looked like. Right. Um. So you know, it was pretty cool. Um. But you know, I had my own dancers, and after a while, we kind of didn't see eye to eye just simply because I didn't have clear expectations on what I wanted. Mm-hmm. out of that business um you know i just knew that i wanted to be treated better and i wanted to treat other people better than how i was taught or 
t- uh, treated in the right. previous, you know, business venture. So I just was like, you know, I got through with that. Uh, God sat me down. I went. I'm not gonna lie. I went through a, a serious stage of depression, um, like really, really serious, and it, it took a toll on me because I was like, I don't know what I want to do with my business. You know, I thought I wanted to be a business owner. You know, I went to school. Uh, I dropped out my freshman year, you know, in uh, college. I'm yeah. like, man, I'm 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 cool. Like, I just want to be able to make a business and have people be impacted by it. Um, so you know, that kind of led to where I am now. And in 2019, I basically uh, had a, a breakthrough where um, God sat me down. I was turning 21. Mm-hmm. Uh, in 2020, I was turning 21. Uh, 2019 is when I actually sat down and I was like, okay, I can dance. Um, I could do photography. I could do videography. Um, I know God gifted me with the with the ability to speak. Mm-hmm. Okay, Lord. I also have this thing for fashion. Like I don't know what it is, <laughs> you can but see that. You can see that. <laughs> I got a thing for fashion. So what is it that you want me to really do? Like I got right. all these different things, but I don't really know where to start. Right, right, right. right. And I, I find that a lot of us business owners, we have so many great ideas, but don't know where to start. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, I prayed on it. Lord, please show me. Show me what you want me to do, Lord, because I don't know. You know, I don't know. I, you know, I, you you said you know the plans that you have for me. Okay, mm-hmm. so show me. And after I prayed, I began to write out certain words that mean a lot to me. One of the words I wrote out was purpose. I said, okay, I like this word, but, you know, I know... I know you have a purpose for my life, but, you know, okay, Lord, what is it that you want me to do with this? What does that mean? What does that mean, right? right. So he started to show me, and then I started to narrow it down, like my search of, you know, the dancing, the filming, um, the, the fashion. I started narrowing all those things down. I said, okay, what is one thing that you can use me with? And instantly I crossed out, which at the time my passion was dancing. Yeah. I crossed it out. And I said, that's just going to glorify me. I want to glorify him. Yeah. Mm. So I said, okay, I'm going to cross that out. Because I don't want people to just know me for face value and just I'm just dancing for somebody. Facts. I'm entertaining someone. Mm-hmm. I'm not doing it to impact them. Exactly. So I said, okay, I'm going to cross that out. Put that on a back burner for right now, if, if anything. Mm-hmm. And then I said, okay, well, I got film, I got fashion. And I, I said, oh, well, these coincide with each other because if I go ahead and do my film business, one, it'll make me profit. You know, mm-hmm. I need money. I'm, I ain't got no money. So <laughs> I'm like, all right, this will make me profit. And then, two, I can also impact other people by telling their story and their testimony as well as ministering to them and just talking to them and mm-hmm. just saying, you know, my experience and my story. So why not use that? Okay. And then now fashion is going to go alongside with that. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it goes hand in hand. Right. So um, that's when I got into photography and videography with Kasuti Films. I translated the actual, it's funny because I actually went on Google and translated it. Like <laughs> literally, I just went to Google and I just oh, was weak. like, okay. purpose. Okay, which word actually looks better and sounds and different? Yeah, because you know how you want that like, that little nice ring to yeah, it. Yeah, gotta have a ring to yeah, it. Yeah, so I'm like, all right, I'm gonna I'm find something. I don't know what it's gonna right. be. That that, that's funny. That's how we went about it too. When the bag tool, we was like, yo, what name should we name the the business, the media business? We're like, hey, but once he said bag tool, we were like, oh, we got yeah. it. Yeah, like, you, know like, you know when you got it. Yeah, yeah, or, yeah. and that that bag tool actually do have a nice ring. Actually. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Um, it's different. Word. Um, but yeah, so you know, I was just trying to find that ring to it, and I found this. So I was like, okay, Kasuti. I said, all right, production, because I had money production. I was like, ah, I don't really like that Kasuti production. Don't sound too right. ringy. Right, right. So I'm like, films, Kasuti films. I want to shoot films, documentaries. Um, so I said, okay, I like Kasuti films, and that that stuck with me. And I've just been starting it ever since. I went to some networking events, and you know. It, I, I just got my name out there. People were reaching out to me after the event, and I was just like, okay, I like this. You know, yeah. I got some of my first gigs um, just by giving to people and just doing it for free. I'll be honest. Like, 
ain't, I ain't charge people. I had this one guy. I'll never forget him. He paid me forty dollars. I was happy with that forty dollars. <laughs> yeah, I was so happy with that forty dollars. Nah, we we get it. We did the same thing. Like you know, where you you have to do stuff for free initially because not only do you want to show your value, right? But I think it's I think people don't say this enough. Mm-hmm. It's also a way to validate yourself, mm-hmm. right? Because when you do yeah. something for free, low key the pressure's kind of off, mm-hmm. right? Because you're like. I'm doing this for free. I'm gonna validate myself right. and get someone else's opinion it. on it too. And I'm not gonna charge you for nothing. Right. So even if God forbid it didn't work out, it's like, yo, bro, you didn't you didn't pay me. Right, you know what right, I'm saying? Right. Like, why are you tripping right now? <laughs> you, like, literally, it was free ninety nine. Relax. Pump the brakes. Okay. Yeah, like, uh, yeah. You know, you're not gonna get disrespectful <laughs> now. But at the same time, bro, it's free. So I totally get it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I want to ask a question because it was like when you were saying things, right? Couple of things stood out to me. So one, obviously, you have a huge faith. Like you're very, you're a believer in God, right? Yes, absolutely. That's, that that piece is something that we want to highlight. Um, another thing is, I respect you for opening up about you going through a tough time period, right? You're saying you were like depressed and all that. Like that, that is a lot, especially at a young age. So yeah. shout out to you for like getting through that. Yeah. Now, glory to God. Yeah. Yeah. Exa- this is exactly what I'm talking about. Right? <laughs> like, so I think you're going to be successful no matter what in that sense. Amen. Thank um, you. Now is. I think it would be unfair for us to not highlight this piece. Clearly, you started multiple things at a young age. You're still hella young, you know? Mm -hmm. So, what did you exactly do to be like, this is the first step that I want to take in business? Because when you start, okay, yeah, you Google the name, right? But for people listening right now that want to start a business, right? That want to, I guess, take that next step, what could you tell them to be like, yo, this is exactly what I did, and this is what you guys could do too? Um, well, first, honestly, I, I really just sat down with myself. I prayed. Like, I know it sounds so cliche, but nah, it's like, that's, that's literally what I did. I prayed. I waited for an answer. <laughs> A lot of times we pray and we don't wait long enough to hear back from God or we get distracted by the outside noise, you know, your phone, Instagram, TikTok, uh, music. You go right to music after prayer and it's like, you know, you go right to talking to another person and you saying, hey, you know what I mean? And it's, I waited. Mm-hmm. I got into my quiet place and I waited and I said, okay, I'm going to, I'm not going to move from here until I hear back from you, God. And what that looked like was just me simply staying in my quiet place and saying, okay, I'm going to read. I'm going to, it's, it's called more or less a consecration. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, just staying in that quiet place with God and being comfortable with that and content with that until you get to your answer like you know sometimes god will give you a certain timeline or dates and you'll be like okay i might stay in consecration for a certain amount of period of time and then i'm putting a mandate on when i'm expecting an answer by mm-hmm. so now it's like okay god if i could dedicate this time to you can you please do me justice right mm-hmm. and give me an answer yeah, you know right. what i mean and sometimes you majority of the time what i've experienced i received an answer mm-hmm. sometimes it may you might receive an answer in different ways or different you know different things but um you know that's what i waited for and then even just outside of that you know i definitely took the step of getting my llc and i invested in myself mm-hmm. and even prior to that i invested into my own equipment like i just was like you know i don't I can't sit here and be like, I want to be a photographer and videographer and I can't provide no service for you guys. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or I'm always um, in a place where I can't really uh, provide the best service because I don't have the best equipment that, you know, would give you that great quality worth paying for. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I had a question. Yeah, go ahead. I was like, you said it right. Like, <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I was basically just gonna say, like, when that piece right there, right? Mm-hmm. I think that's what I was hoping you would say because it's like, of course you pray, and of course you, you know, devote yourself and you invest in your business. Mm-hmm. But did you not do research behind what cameras to get? Did you not do research behind? how to even get the best audio, right? You have to invest research into that as well, right? right? absolutely. So can you talk about how difficult it is to go through that research part, right? Because I think a lot of people, what we talked about earlier, yeah. is people want to be business owners, right? right? But I always say they want to be entrepreneurs, not entrepreneurs, right? Because at the mm-hmm. end of the day, like, bro, you want to be an entrepreneur and you, and you want mm-hmm. to get that money and you want to work four hours, but what are you actually doing? Mm-hmm. You, you're a entrepreneur. You're right. not actually taking action. action. So mm-hmm. how'd you go about like even doing your research and talk about how hard that is? Because right. I think a lot of people just 
go for that dream. They right. need to just jump in and it's going to be all, you know what I'm saying? Gravy. Yeah. And it's not gravy because at the end of the day, you do got to put in that work. And part of me putting in that work was just networking. Like, I'm a big, like I said, I was in the entertainment business. So me coming from that scene, I'm outgoing. I, I'm right. jumping right off the porch like, hey, what's up? <laughs> right. I want to talk. Tell me, tell me what camera I should buy. Yeah, yeah. and that's how we met you. Mm-hmm. In the same, same, yep. same way. Like we was networking, literally, and then look what came out of it. Yep. You see what I'm saying? And then so you I go back, know. and then you be like, okay, let me cross reference that information. And now you on Google and you mm-hmm. searching that stuff up. Um, I, I'll be um, transparent with you guys. You know, I actually was able to invest into a course in 2020. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that was very recent. Um, and that course alone helped me understand, okay, I can expand my business. I can actually do this, one, mm. right? That gave me a new idea to expand my business. Like scale it. Yeah. So mm. I'm like, okay, cool. It's not just me taking a picture. It's not me just taking somebody's video. You yes, know what I mean? Yes, yes, yes. So I was like, okay, just being able to make that investment gave me a different outlook on things and it allowed me to be able to see things differently rather than just taking the camera and just taking Bro. people's pictures right. and yes. videos so you know doing that research and networking um you know those steps alone just really helped me yeah I, see i'm telling you i hope everybody's paying attention to this like this is another guest we brought on now that's saying that they invested in themselves it's like that's so important people forget that part they think they're just gonna jump in business and not invest in themselves or their business like right. you have to put money behind it you right. have to put that time behind it it's so important and like so for networking right not everybody has the personality that you have like that's beautiful that you had that i know we have listeners right now who are like they get nervous around strangers yeah. like they like they're reserved maybe their environment took them to be like to themselves yeah i know how that is so like even for me i'm a reserve i'm a reserved person you know, yeah. i'm laid back mm-hmm. i'll be chilling but now like getting into the business world i know how to network now because i worked in those skills i invested in mm. myself to learn those skills and so what like advice could you give to people who want to learn how to network who don't have that personality like do you have any just networking tips like something you keep in mind when you're walking up to a stranger like what are some methods you take basically when you walked up to us be yourself (laughs) honestly just be yourself okay and for the people that are like more laid back i would it's hard to say but you know because everybody's personality is different for many different reasons, right? Yeah. So I don't want to kind of just put it in a category, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but at the same time, for those people that are laid back, do your research, do your homework, study the game first before yeah. you jump in the field. Because now when you study the game, now you got a little bit more confidence when you're mm-hmm. walking up to a person and you're mm-hmm. asking them, hey, what camera did you buy? Right. And it might be just simply that question. Right. But you need that confidence to under, to, uh, to to even just understand, okay, I got enough confidence to even ask you that. Mm-hmm. Because a lot of people won't. They get they start having all these thoughts in their yeah, head. Like overthinking it. Yeah, and just yeah, overthinking yeah, yeah. it. And now you already fumbled it before you even asked. And right. it was just like, mm-hmm. slow down. It's okay. Breathe. Mm-hmm. Right? And think about what you want to say and how you want that conversation. What do you ask yourself, what do, how do you want the conversation to go? What are you mm-hmm. trying to gain out of that conversation? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah, if yeah. you don't get it right then and there, that's okay. At least you introduce yourself. Face value says a lot. Right. Right. No. Yeah. So it's funny, right? Like when I was um, when I was in college, I pledged a like a business fraternity. Right. Cause I I was really bad. Like I don't even know if you knew. I was really bad at networking. Like I've always been a people person, but I was really scared to network. Hmm. So like I had to go and like literally just push myself in. It was actually a pot of to be oh, like, right. yo, yes, yeah, that's one of our like uh, our best friends, right? Oh, and, shout out to him. Yeah, fact, shout oh, out to you. <laughs> um, <laughs> and like he he was like, yo, let's just go do this. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's when I first learned how important networking is, because mm-hmm. like the, you know they gave like a mentor, it's like you're big and all that, and like she put me onto a game where she was like, yo, you you are confident, but you're also scared. Let that mm-hmm. fear go, mm-hmm. right? And I think the biggest thing and everything, mm-hmm. just just like kind of you know go off that, it's like. <laughs> a lot of times, bro, it's like talking to a girl, right? Or like you, when you go to a bar, the worst thing that happens is she's going to say no to you. The worst yeah. thing that happens, right? Yeah. The best thing that happens is you get her number, right? Yeah. So there's only two ways to look at it. Same thing mm-hmm. with networking. As you said, you go to someone, yo, what camera do you got? The, the worst thing they say to you is get out of my face. Or they just ignore you. Right. That speaks more on their personality mm-hmm. than you. You got to know you tried yeah. right. at the end of the day, right? right. You look at yourself in the mirror and be like, yeah, I tried. I did what right. I had to do. And now on to the next. There's 100 people in this building. 
So uh, I want to I want to speak to that real quick. Yeah, go ahead. I was just having a conversation with somebody about that on the phone yesterday. It's just like picturing the worst case scenario and putting your five senses into that vision. Mm-hmm. Like you got to like feel what it would be like in that moment to live out that worst case scenario. Mm-hmm. And oftentimes we overestimate like. Or we like, I don't know the word for it, but we think it's going to be so much worse than it is. Mm-hmm. But once you visualize it, you live in that worst case scenario like, dang. So they just said no to me. You feel it. You picture yourself, them saying no, right? you like, this ain't even that bad. Like, Bro, you know why that happens, by the way? Did, y'all, did you ask, though? Like, I was actually reading into this. So most times, humans, in, like, in general, yeah. we're, we're pessimists. Like, we're naturally mm-hmm. born to think that way. That's why fear sells, if you guys ever noticed that. Mm-hmm. That's why on news, that's why fear sells a lot. Mm-hmm. That's why, like... That's why when you go into a building, everyone's nervous. If you notice, there's only three people in that building that are really confident. Yeah. Other than that, most people are not. So that speaks to it. Can I say something? I just wanted to speak on uh, what you said about walking up to people. You know, if they say no, I, I had a situation, right? Yeah. And I, you know, thank God. Shout out to EYL because we all met, you know, and that's at right. Best Fest. Yeah. So. <laughs> I had a guy, very big influencer. Hey man, I just want to take a picture of you while you, you know, I'm being my regular self. Authentic self. Authentic. Yeah. He's talking amongst people and, you know, he's giving out some tips and stuff. And I'm just like, I'm just be myself. I ain't about to sit here and listen to this. Like, I don't even care what you got to say. I just want to use the picture and leverage it for my opportunities that may come later on, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what photographers and videographers do. A lot of people don't know that, right? Right. Um, but in all honesty, um, hey, I was like, hey, man, if you don't mind, I don't mean to interrupt or nothing, but when you get done, just, you know, I just want to take a picture of you. Like, I don't want to take one with you necessarily, but, mm-hmm, you know, yeah. just want to take one of you. Right. You can get a nice drawing of you. So he was like, nah. I know who this is, right? Just the way she said that, like, I'm not gonna like, like, cry. Is he in real estate? Yeah. Uh, I know no. Oh, stocks. Yeah. Stocks. Oh. I think I'm he does real that. estate too, I believe. Oh. Um. But he, more so stocks. Stocks. Okay, I thought she was talking about someone else. Uh, never mind. We'll talk off camera. Yeah. We'll talk yeah. We, camera. I don't want you know what I'm saying. Yeah. No. But <laughs> <laughs> subscribe, like, comment. What you gotta do. Check the drip out real quick. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Check it. Back to you already know. <laughs> <laughs> But nah, um, so yeah, he's like, nah. And I was like, all right, cool. So just meet me over there when you're done. And you know what I'm saying? What's up? He's like, oh, no, nah, I'm just playing, sweetheart. No, no, I got you. Just the the slight fear that almost creep up on me right. in front of all those people. Just by him saying no. Yeah. I was like, but I played it out. I was like, all right, cool. Just meet me over there when you're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's hard. You know, I, I got to give... So this is something I love to do, and I started doing this honestly, probably like a couple of years ago. I always did it, like, but like I actually like consciously doing it. I like to give people their flowers while they can still smell them, right? And I think it's very, very important to do that because, yeah, we're not here for a long time, right? So I, I'm not just saying this because you're here. I actually mean this. I think your energy is one of the best energy. I, I pride myself on being positive and going yeah, outgoing, but I actually do think your energy is crazy in, you, in a positive way, thank right? You. That's the first thing we said when we met. That ass, like you, you, you give a very comforting type of vibe, which I, I gotta give credit. So thank you thank for you. that. But I, you spoke on something else, right? Mm-hmm. And it kind of struck me. So being in business, we actually just had a whole conversation on this the the monetizing part mm-hmm. right and once again this this makes a difference between a entrepreneur and an entrepreneur right mm-hmm. like there's there's a difference bro so at the end of the day you just spoke on it. you did stuff for free but then you were like you took a course in 2020 mm-hmm. and then you were like yo this is gonna help me scale so speak on that where you went where your mindset went from being like yo i just do stuff to get experience to transitioning and being like hmm this is how i can make money Mm-hmm. So, like, what was the thought process like, and what, what tips could you give them mm-hmm. to be like, yeah, like, this is how you guys could start thinking if you want to scale? Um, honestly, it, for me, it really was just being able to say, okay, what exactly do I want to do where I want to start, right? Once I found that out, I was like, all right, I, 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 I got to find it, what they call a niche, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. And without your niche, you're kind of left between doing everything and being that jack of all trades. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And they also say as a quote, I, I might misquote it, but 
you know, a know jack of all trades, yep. master, master of none. none. No, you're right. Yeah, so I was that person that I was doing everything. Mm-hmm. And then once I found that one thing and I was like, okay, I'm going to focus on photography and videography. Being at InvestFest actually helped me realize, Shanine, you have to still pick which one you really, really want to scale and like hone like in on. Hone in on. Because you doing videography and photography is still giving people too much of an idea of, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. Yeah. I, I I could get this candy, but I want this candy too, and I don't know which one to pick. Right. And then I don't have money, really, to really, if you're in the local area, I really don't have the funds to do both. Because mm-hmm. you're I just do starting, one right? Yeah. That's another thing. Even my clients, they don't have enough money to do both. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But they want the quality. So, okay. I got to I got to pick something and that something would, for me was film. I said even just I, and I'll be honest like just recently I had this idea where it's like okay I want to be able to help people share their testimonies and also coach them and, and and pour into them. One of the ways I can do that is like not podcast style like how y'all are gracefully doing this amazing. Appreciate you. But, you know, I I rather do something in a more so documentary style. That's fire. Though. So yeah. that I can, you know, sit down with them and talk to them and then, you know, be able to pour into them at with the interviews and all of that, but still go a little deeper mm-hmm. and say, "Okay, tell me your story." Right? Let's let's go a little deeper. Where did this all start? Fear. You you said you battle with fear. Mm-hmm. Where did that spirit come from? Mhm. How did you overcome that spirit? How did you defeat it? Right. Mm. And and how how did that help you to impact the people that you're pouring into today? Mm-hmm. Right? You know, I kind of want to go that route with film and that's why, you know, of course photography always going to be around. I have my team just always taking pictures of me mm-hmm. and the the people that, you know, um I'm doing work with. That's never going to be a problem, but just, you know, helping me narrow that search down finding your niche Mm -hmm. and just stick into it that's going to help you really identify your audience and who you want to speak to so is it trial and error that piece of to identify your audience because you know how we're struggling with that sometimes like Mm -hmm. we were like trying to identify which one and then we really realized what our strength is and then we're like nah this is it yeah so like what did you have to like you know i want to focus on you did dance right Right. do i only want to focus on people in that industry Mm -hmm. uh don't want to think you know focus on um, entertainment in a different like industry. Do I want to focus on business? Like, did you have to do trial and error to figure it that out? It definitely was trial and error. In this case, I say like at the end of the day, like forgetting the whole dance thing. Like mm-hmm. once I actually got into film and photography, I was just like, I'm trying everything. I want to do weddings. I want to do real estate. <laughs> I knew it. I knew that's, that's what happened. I want to do. Yeah. I want to do sweet sixteens. They hiring me. I'm there. Yeah. Hey, Kim You know what I mean? I'm there. Like, I don't even speak Spanish, but you know. It's okay. I'm going to try. I'm going to learn today. You know what I mean? But nah, seriously though, um, I, I was trying everything. And, you know, even my mentees, I tell them like, you know, it's okay to get out there. To, you got to build your portfolio mm-hmm. and you have to be able to see what you like to be able to narrow down to find what is that niche. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So once I narrowed it down, that's how I narrowed it down. It was trial and error. Yeah. That's, that's so important. I read a book called The One Thing. Yeah. And, they, and they speak on that, like focusing on one thing. If you look at anybody who mastered their craft, they weren't being that jack of all trades. They mm. locked in on one thing for for a time period, and it changed their life. Mm. And that's what you're literally speaking on. So that's how I know your future is extremely bright because that's Thank what you. you're doing. I, I love that. Um, and now, so like you said, this is the first woman we brought woman that we, that we brought on a podcast. Mm-hmm. So can you speak on just the the ups and downs of being a, a female entrepreneur? Because that's the, I know that it can bring its challenges. Now it might be dependent on the industry. Some mm. industries bring more of a challenge than others. Mm. Is there a challenge like that in the photography business? Definitely. Yeah, this fly is killing us, bro. Yeah, yeah. there's a, a little fly in here. He's doing Millie right now. So if you, if you see me Millie rocking, you know why. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. Um, yeah, them, them flies gotta beat it. But um, it's it's the plants. You it's know? the plants behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's a fact. <laughs> Shout out to Pierce Space. <laughs> Shout out to Erica. Yeah, no, no, thanks. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> but nah, um, dang, I forgot the question. I'm nah, sorry. I'll put, yeah. <laughs> nah, just being a female entrepreneur. Right, right, right. So, so yeah, so for me, I believe that it has always been a challenge simply because you always get that thing where people just come, oh, the cameraman. True, true, Oh, my true. God. I didn't even realize I do that. And I'm just uh, like, I'm guilty. uh, 
Right. I'm a girl. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am not a dude. Yeah, yeah, fact, 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 <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, just that alone, it it really gets under my skin it's sometimes. It's like a little ick. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of like, dang, like you ain't taking enough time to really look. Facts. I got yeah. lashes. I mean, I, you yeah. know, figure, you know. Right. So, um, you know, that's one of the things. And then also, honestly, I don't have too many challenges. On, and I will say this only because as a female... I grew up in a household of sh- strong, strong individuals, like strong women. Mm-hmm. And just being around them, you know, I only had one male in the house. It wasn't my father. It was my uncle. Um, and he installed a lot in me as well as the female. So just having both, like both yeah. of that alone and the women, they're strong. They mm-hmm. strong. They endure so much and they're just strong. Definitely. Just coming from that, you know, it built me up to be a little bit more assertive. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not really shy or too much. La- I could be laid back, you know. I can be very observant at all times. But um, more than anything, it, it, it helped me to be a little bit more assertive. And then being confident and knowing what I want, right? Yeah. I'm not going to let a guy just push me around. It's not going to happen. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Um, the, the females that... I grew up with they ain't going out like that so right. imagine they raised me to know the difference and know and understand hey listen use wisdom you know what i mean and always um one of the things that i would say helped me is the sternness in my voice mm-hmm. that shows the confidence especially in business industry i was just about to say because that. if you don't i think it was rick ross that said it if you don't look a person in the eye and tell them yo this is why i'm doing this and this i'm doing this and you can't move me about it Facts. you don't have that confidence to move another person and let them feel it they ain't gonna feel you they ain't gonna take you serious so yeah. just yeah. for that alone <laughs> you know what i mean Word. as a female i use that so where obviously you asked from your family right but like as you just said the the whole record ross thing right so when you are looking someone in the eyes, when you are going about doing what you have to do, where did you, like, obviously family, yes, but did you have to work your way up to that confidence level from just going through and hearing no's? Because I'm sure you heard no's, right, in your business. Mm-hmm. So, like, how does how does that work? Because I feel like when I'm talking to someone and I'm telling them about bad talk, or I'm telling them about my car rental, or I'm telling them about what I do in, like, just regular day life, we always hear, are you sure? Like, can you actually do this? Will, mm. will you be a millionaire by 30? Like, that's mm. that's our goal, right? That's, yeah. that's what we always say. It's like, we're trying to leave everything behind and be with our families, mm-hmm. right? So like, is that actually gonna happen? That takes a lot of confidence. So like, did you read books to get there? Did you mm-hmm. have a mentor? Because you obviously mentee people, mm-hmm. or, right? Yeah, 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 you are a mentor What's to people. Yeah. yeah, you yeah. mentor yeah. people. Yeah. So did you have a mentor mm-hmm. like that taught you how to do all this or move this way? Because I, as I said, your energy is amazing, yeah. but where did you learn that? Family foundation. It was literally off. You had no met like. You Family had, like, foundation. A-, a lot of the business stuff I learned through trial and error. I'll be honest. Okay, I got it. A lot of the trial and error was bad experiences. Mm. Um, but in all honesty, the foundation really came from my household. Like, are they business owners themselves? No, they're not. But it drove it mm-hmm. drove me to yeah. actually be like, ah, I gotta get out of this. Like, yeah. I can't. I can't live like this. Not saying that we live disgusting or nothing like that, but it's not the best. It's scenario. not the best yeah. situation, and and for that alone, it pushes me. It dri- like I had a conversation with one of my friends. I'm like, yo, what, what drives you? Mm-hmm. Nice. Mm-hmm. What if you don't have nothing or someone that drives you? What are you doing this for? But a uh, question, right? What did your friend do after that? Because you you can have those talks, you have those conversations. Because we we talk about this all the time. Like I all think it's um, and no shade to mm-hmm. anyone. Like literally, absolutely no shade none. To anyone, absolutely right? none. I I'm a firm believer in this. Like um, that you you're born with a certain thing. Like I think you're born with a certain gene. We talk about this all the time. I, we call it the Kobe gene, right? Like the, the, the Kobe like gene. the mindset. <laughs> like you have to have that sickening mindset. Mm-hmm. So like when you talk to your friends about that, how, how does that conversation go? Like you can motivate them. I could, I could tell you're motivational, mm-hmm. right? So or inspirational, I should say. Um, both, but does both. it stick? But does it but stick, stick with to the them? Yeah. How, mm-hmm. how does that come? Do they actually end up taking action? For time? me, like I said, I'm I'm faith based, so I try to hit them with that first. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? Because a lot of times you gotta break people down like really not break them down literally but like you gotta 
come to where they their level of understanding is. Mm-hmm. If you sit on a high horse, they gonna be like, man, I ain't trying to hear nothing they talking about. I ain't work. No, meet them where they are, understand them where they are, hear them, listen to them, discern the spirit that you're speaking to. Cause now you know if you discern and know in the spirit how who you're speaking to, what spirit you speaking to? Maybe it's you speaking to their fear. You gotta cancel that spirit out. Maybe you're speaking to that depression because sometimes fear and depression and anxiety they operate together. Yeah, you're telling me. So, <laughs> so sometimes even just with that, you have to cancel out those spirits. Even before I talk to people, I pray. Mm-hmm. So you that pray the, right before the show. Yeah. I have to because. <laughs> You know, I want the conversation to go well. I want mm-hmm. the Holy Spirit to operate in this, and in, in, like it brings that comfortability. You right, know what I mean? Right, right. That that you can open up, and then you can receive me. Mm, mm, if okay, you don't okay. receive me, then I'm just talking, and then it ain't gonna stick. Yeah, it's not flowing right. nowhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah you I know what that. I mean? So that kind of help when I am pouring into other people, like you know, just being mindful of how I'm talking to, because not everybody like that sternness. Mm-hmm. And then it could be offensive. I don't care to be <laughs> respectful. I don't care. I, I'm, I'm very straight. I'm one of the most straightforward people that like I personally like. He's straightforward too. Like y'all I, ain't straightforward as much as me. Yeah, and that's fine. <laughs> and you, you can be straight up, and that's cool. I, I don't. I don't take any offense when people talk to me like that. And some people do. I'm like, yeah, you're not in my circle, then, bro. Mm-hmm. You have to take it. Mm-hmm. If you can't take, it, you're not gonna grow, right? right. But you, you mentioned fear. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, we're a financial, right? So like. When we when we talk about certain things, I think the biggest fear is finances in the business. Like, I'm mm-hmm. not gonna be able to pay my people. I'm not gonna be able to pay myself. I'm not mm-hmm. gonna be able to pay my bills, right? So, how do you actually navigate your finances as a business owner mm-hmm. with the thought process of, yo, I'm still scaling. I'm not there mm-hmm. yet. Mm-hmm. I'm still scaling. That fear is in the back of my head. So, what do you do when it comes to finances, like on a monthly basis, or how, however you navigate? Speak on that. So let's say, for example, Peer Space is my mm-hmm. go-to. I don't have a current storefront, um, but I'm looking to actually get into that whole real estate thing so I can learn more about uh, commercial buildings and whatever type of building I want to actually invest into before I actually make that jump. Mm-hmm. I study the game before I'm making a jump. I you know what I mean? Agree. And for me, like I don't, I don't just jump into something and just be like, okay whatever happens happens no i have to study it first and then i i and like it it's even down to my personal finances right let's yeah, just yeah. say for example like just yesterday i'm like okay uh i know i can't mix the a lot of people don't know you can't mix the business and the personal together mm-hmm. right you gotta have separate accounts yeah sometimes i ain't gonna lie i'll be like all right lord could you spare me a few dollars so that i can uh <laughs> I can could, I could work. I basically. can make this yeah. happen. You know yeah. what I mean? And so majority of the time, like like yesterday, for instance, I sat down in my car and I'm like, okay, let me write out this bill. Let me write out that bill. All right, cool. How much is my available balance? You know, okay. How much cash I got? All right, cool. How much debt I have? Because I know I got to pay off some cards. All right, cool. And what's... The actual income that's rolling in right now mm-hmm. and now how much do i actually need to invest mm-hmm. okay now at some point you kind of breaking them down either numbers or percentages so now for me i just kind of be like all right i split them up mm-hmm. and i say okay uh if i know that i have to pay this this debt off first I'm going to take care of that debt. One right. is going to give me some reward points mm-hmm. in the uh, long run. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So it's going to give me those reward points, and I need that mm-hmm. for the long run. Yep. Um, you know, secondly, I just, you know, I, just being able to navigate and see it visually, because I'm a visual person, mm-hmm. and, you know, a lot of the viewers that are actual videographers and photographers, they're visual people too, right. believe it or it makes, not. It makes sense. You know right. what I mean? So they like to see things written out, and that would be my thing is, like, I write everything out. I have to see it first. If I don't see it, I'm just stuck trying to put it in my mind and be like, okay, what what number, what, I forgot, what date? Mm-hmm. And then and it's kind of a thing where it's like, uh. All right, it's gotta know. be like visually represented. Yeah, I hear that. I hear that. Because if I don't, then I'm just gonna get lost in all the bills that I might have, and yeah. 
the finances that I have and, you know, what I do and don't have and it's too much. I need to be able to see it flat, flat out. Mm, okay. That's real. That's real. Now, I like that visual representation. So you, you should do those often, right? You probably do that either on a weekly or a monthly basis. Kind of just sit with yourself and then to figure out the finance side of it. Actually, so, weekly. Weekly. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's funny. We said the same thing on our yeah. um, our show. We try to meet every single week, right? We have strategy sessions. And then from other business, I do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. I, that's funny. I was actually about to mention that, how yeah. we, we do the same thing, right? Right. Weekly My thing. business, I would say, is monthly. My personal finances, I would say weekly. weekly. Okay, yeah. Cool. And that's the thing, right? When we're, when we're talking to you guys, um, I think a lot of times you guys think that we're just saying stuff to say it. Right, but like if you notice, everyone who's coming on the show so far has a trend, yep. right? Like they think differently, um, they plan differently, they have a great and like extremely high belief in what they do. Like they really, really believe it. Yeah. And then finances is something right. they really, really concentrate on. So y'all gotta like start peeping the trends. Yep. But another thing is, you have a nine to five as well. Yeah. So I think that's another piece that's important to mm -hmm. mention because. How the heck do you make everything work, right? Because the nine to five, you can speak on it if you want to, what you do, but obviously it's 40 hours a week, right? Yeah. Or sometimes more. More, more yeah. exactly. So like commute, no one takes that into consideration. I don't know how far you commute, but that's a piece. So talk on that a little bit, like how sacrifices. you make that. Sacrifices. Yeah, right. and, and that's what it is. At the end of the day, it's really just making a sacrifice. You don't know how many times, Nooski, I woke up and I'm just like, I don't wanna do this, man. Mm -hmm. Now I hear you. I'm gonna call out. Yeah, but you can't. Though, <laughs> but you right? can't. You can't. And all honestly, you can't because I then start to think, okay, where do I want to be? What mm -hmm. do I want to do? Mm -hmm. Right. And mm -hmm. now when I that stuff start kicking in, now I'm like, all right, I got a I got a purpose and something that's driving me to get me to the place where I need. I can't, if I'm making this six seven hundred dollars a week, mm -hmm. I can't fund my business that I really want to sit there and just work full time and quit this job right, if i'm right. not making that money to accumulate it enough to split my funds up and pay my bills and do this and do that and invest i'm not if i'm not making that money or showing up there first i can't sit there and go to the next stage and say okay i'm gonna go do this business and fund that right. because yeah. who's giving me money right, right. nobody yeah. right. i have to be able to do it myself i don't have no silent investors yet mm -hmm. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Y'all know where to find her. We're going to put her <laughs> in the description below. Don't, don't even trip. Don't even trip. I know y'all trying to find her. We got you. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? It, we don't have that fresh out the gate. Like, we, I wasn't blessed with, like, a family that got a million bucks. Like, I... Uh, I wish I was. <laughs> and it makes me think, honestly, like, how would I treat things or how would I react when it when it comes to these certain situations? Like, how would I... If you were blessed with it? Yeah. Oh, you want to be the same. We, no, I've had that conversation... Not. I'm I'm not just saying to say it. Mm -hmm. I think it's a blessing by God that, you know, the family situations worked out the way they did. Because if you're given everything, I think you're spoiled. There's very few people that are given everything and they work a different way. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why you work the way you work. There's a reason why you work the way you work. There's right. a reason why I work the way I work. Right. Our family plays a huge part in this. Yes. You know? So I think if you were blessed, right? Because I'm sure your kids will be blessed. Mm -hmm. Right? Amen. And I refuse to have my kids go walk down the block and be like, yeah, I own the block. No, you don't. Hmm. Like, you didn't. What did you do, bro? Right. You, you yeah. came out your mom doing nothing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, relax. Humble you yourself. Put yeah. in that work. Yeah. yeah. So, now nah, sure. I, I, think, I think if you had that, it wouldn't be the same. Right. And that's for sure. That's yeah. for sure. Nah, nah. Most definitely. And and then also, so I know you have Kasudi Films University, right? Mm -hmm. So, you want to just speak on that real quick? Because I know, obviously, you're helping other entrepreneurs build a film business, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so could you just speak on like how you got that started? Because I was I was curious about that because if, say I'm somebody that wants to do photography, some, like even my friend, like you know our friend, he want to do photography. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah you yeah. know, how do people oh, even go about- connect. That is a great connect, might add that word. Because <laughs> how do people go about finding gigs? Mm. You know, that, 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 how do you even, do you reach out to people? Do you or do you wait for them to reach out to you? Like, mm -hmm. what Absolutely are your ways of, of marketing? You know what I'm saying? Like, you go on Facebook Marketplace and start doing. Yeah, so I <laughs> mean, any way you can get it, honestly. But for me, just showing up to places, like I just show up. Like I said, I was a part of the entertainment industry. Um, if you're not a part of that, then you kind of want to just research, study the game, and still show up. So, so you literally you just be showing up to places. Yeah, because, like because you know. All right, we're talking about entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. It's not the same as a nine to five where your, your, your check is guaranteed. Right. This, this is a thing where you have, have to, to go and where you have to find your money on a 
daily basis low key mm -hmm. so that's why i'm kind of asking about like scaling or how you go about finding them gigs because so that's what you do you saying like you really just you show up and up to places and i just show up literally right. and a lot of times it's word of mouth um yeah. especially when you starting out is word of mouth definitely like marketing like a lot of your family i'll say this right if your family don't know what you do they're your first supporters right so or your friends your circle of friends don't know what you're doing they your first supporters. How, who else gonna know? Who else gonna promote your stuff? I disagree, low key. Not really? Gonna, yeah, I disagree. The reason why I disagree is because I feel like I feel like friends and family are dope, mm -hmm. right? But they have to love you. Mm -hmm. They don't have an option, right? Mm -hmm. So they're not even gonna give you honest feedback. We when we first started back talk, we were uh, we were putting like yo like go check out this channel, right? Um, go click that link, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. They did it. You know, but for the love, that's not a long term thing. Exactly. Because mm. the thing is, we all know when it comes to marketing, mm. you have to get at people who are actually interested in what you do. That's mm. why we talked about earlier your niche. Mm. Like what audience really gravitates to what you want. Our family and friends might not, if we're talking about our example, like, respectfully, they're, not, they're, they're not our audience. Yeah, they're not our audience. A lot of them wouldn't watch a finance show at for any reason right. so they're not about to just start watching the finance show just because it's us. Mm. They might check out the first couple episodes, mm. show the love, but after that, if you're doing this every day, they're not going to check your stuff out. So we had to go find strangers, people who actually have an interest in what we do. Right. Like the people watching that's still watching right now. Yeah, we know that y'all are actually interested in like leveling up your life. So shout out to y'all. But <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's why I, I, I know what you mean. I, I kind of disagree too with the family yeah. and friend thing. That, that's the only reason, right? Because mm -hmm. I think when, when you say family and friends, um, they actually support you, mm -hmm. right? But who, who is your ideal customer? Like, who is your Facts. avatar? Right. And th that's what we had to realize. And my, I actually want to speak on that. Is it different for you to, like, because when we say avatar, we're looking for someone who's between the ages of like 18 to like that 35 range, right? Mm -hmm. They either just finished college and they're trying to figure stuff out or they're in college figuring stuff out. Mm -hmm. Or they're literally transitioning. Because we always say like that 25 to 30 period, yeah. you're, it's your, you're transitioning. You're going to learn soon. Oh. <laughs> I know, I'm a young buck. <laughs> no, but that, that's, that, that's like that transition period. Yeah. So I feel like that's our avatar. So that's why I always say like family friends are dope, mm -hmm. but and I would say this, right? And just just to to make it clear, because I I personally am big on family. Yeah. And my family, they go hard, right? And initially, it wasn't always like that. I had to start with something, and mm -hmm. I did go and 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 reach out to strangers and all of that, and build my portfolio. Once I built my portfolio, I brought it back to my family. Yo, look. Check this out. This is what I'm doing. You made them believe in something. Exactly. 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 And once they seen the work that I was putting in and the, the, the track record that I had, they was like, oh, okay, big shot. All right. And I'm coming to the family meetings. And they're like, yo, <laughs> when are we going to get a picture? Yo. Yeah. And then yeah. that formed something where it's like, okay, now it's a movement in my family. And now mm -hmm. they're talking about my business. And they know Kasuti Films. They know yeah. Kasuti Films is doing something that – you know, a lot of people in the family we ain't doing. Right. They were, they have a they have a business. Mm -hmm. She has a business that's bringing in revenue. Right. Okay, let me talk about that. Now that I'm talking about it, let me tell my man's yo, my my niece got this going exactly. on. Yo yeah. yo yo yo, exactly. my you daughter got this though. going on. Right. right, you gotta plant the seed at the end of the day. If the seed is not planted, or let's say for example you planted the seed, but then you eating it, and you just like, oh, well. I, I, I got a business, but you know I ain't really gonna work on it. Or I got a business and I invested some funds, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and use it for this and and, and pay for this instead. And, and it just you're eating your seed right. that you planted. The people are they that what do they have to believe in if you're not allowing it to grow and you're watering and all that? You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, yeah, nurture it. Wow. Exactly. Like I'm I'm family based. Like I start there because yeah. I want my family to work with me, not for me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. at the end of the day, that's my goal. Like, my goal is so my family, I could show them, hey, look, you don't got to work the nine to five. It's another way we can do it. We just got to jump on this bandwagon real quick for some time. Mm -hmm. And it might cost this. It might, we might have to sacrifice that. Yeah. But it's okay. We'll get there. You know what I mean? 
And then I could show you in the process how you could do it for yourself and then show somebody else. Because I don't want to keep the information to myself. I want you to be able to show somebody else. Yeah, yeah. And you know how you just said the 9 to 5 is another way of getting to it? Mm -hmm. So that's another thing. Because I feel like a lot of people in, in this world right now of business and entrepreneurship, what they do is like they kind of just jump in. To being like, I want to be this owner, right? As I said, the entrepreneurs, right? They're, they just jump the in. The entrepreneurs. So it's like, <laughs> what makes me is, like, think is like, why do people talk so down on nine to five and making their dreams become reality before they actually jump in, right? Hmm. So can you can you talk about that? Like you, I think you are. I think I know your answer, but like, you are supportive of the nine to five while you're still getting Absolutely. it. Absolutely. So would you encourage people? And I need y'all to hear this, like clearly. <laughs> would, would you encourage people? to jump into their business right away before they're profitable and before they have enough, I guess, savings or whatever it may be? Or do you encourage people to get that savings? Do you encourage people to have that safety net from the nine to five and work at the same time? Which just start. You, like, just start, which one though? The first one. And I say oh, that, really? yeah, and okay. I say that because- That, was, that shocked me, okay. I, I <laughs> say that because if you don't just start, mm -hmm. like let's say, you, a lot of times you like okay for my industry a lot of times you don't need ten thousand dollars just to get a camera mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you can go to a rental store go grab you a little camera rent it out for seven days mm -hmm. probably gonna cost you less than about 50 bucks get you a little lens all under a hundred dollars really sd card all of that battery you need all of that or if you got an iPhone, mm -hmm. yeah. it, it is is up and on. A, you don't even got to spend no money. All you got to do is pay your bill. Right, <laughs> right, true. right. Now you know what's funny. That's a low key a gem. Like you could rent it out for like less than a hundred dollars. Do a gig where you pull in hundreds of dollars, and then use that gig to pay for your own camera now. Yep. And then now you can scale your business. And that's what that. I did. I mean, I didn't start with the iPhone per se, but. Mm -hmm. uh, I seen the ability that I had and potential I had when I was taking iPhone pictures. Yeah. Me and my sister used to always take pictures of each other. Like, I, I'm not no model or anything, but like, <laughs> I love taking pictures of her. She loves taking you pictures sure? of me. Uh, yeah. Like you said, man. <laughs> man, they can't see the shoes. Yeah. Can't see it right now. Man, come on. <laughs> nah, but you know, we always used to take pictures, and you know, I developed that habit. You know. So for me, it was kind of different, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Now, it's, it's, that's what I'm saying. Like, that, that answer shocked me. I thought you were saying, like, yeah, stick to the 9 to 5, do what you have to do, and then kind of go into it. But I see I see your perspective now, too. Like, just jump in, you'll figure it if out. If you don't start, you probably never start. Ooh, yeah, that's right. fair. Steve that's Harvey fair. said that at InvestFest, remember? <laughs> Uh, mm, he yeah, said he did. so many things, bro. He did say a lot of things, but I, I know what you, I know yeah, what you mean. If you don't start, then it's like... You contemplating, and Whoa. then now you're soaking in that spirit of fear, and that spirit of fear is gonna keep you from your destiny and your purpose. 1, so, why you going rest in fear, or you gonna walk in faith? Like that. Ooh, okay, like yeah, that. that's fair. Now, now speaking of that, right? So, once again, the fear a lot of people have is where where can my business go? Like, where can we end up? Right. Um, so, talk about your next step. Like, what is it? Like, where do you see your business going? Right. Where do you see it being in? five years, 10 years, what is your goal, right? Mm -hmm. And then how does that tie into your purpose? Because you, you spoke a lot on purpose, right? right? So how does that all tie in? Where do you want to be? Honestly, I uh, want to be an influencer. Mm. Um, of course, I have dreams of growing my business as big as Universal Studios, right? Mm -hmm. um, even bigger than that. Um, but in all honesty, um, behind all of that is molding uh, because my, my, my base is, is ministry. Mm, yeah. um, a lot of people don't know that. Okay. You know what I mean? And that's why I'm so heavy on speaking about purpose and, you know, your faith. And because at the end of the day, if you don't have your spiritual understanding or awareness lined up, how are you going to get into your personal and character lined up? And without all of your personal characters and all of that stuff lined up, your traits and all that stuff lined up, how you going to operate a business if you don't have great character i always say that you know what i mean so fact. even in that order like in my course i i teach about how to get yourself spit like spiritually purged like cleanse yourself from all of the toxic things that you've been operating in and it takes some rewiring definitely um because that's the spiritual process you are denying your flesh but in all honesty the goal is to get to the, the whole business side so that you can help people understand all right this is how i impact this is how i serve a business is based off of serving somebody else yeah so for me 
that's all I want to do. I want to serve people. I, of course, I have my, my, my foundation with my company and, you know, the camera stuff. But, you know, like I said, I want to pour into people, even with the docu documentary stuff. Uh, I, I plan on doing documentaries and sitting down with people like like I'm some therapist. Yeah. <laughs> so you got you got to see you on Netflix. Yeah, for uh, sure. That's, that's that's Amazon I'm Prime. About. You know. That's what I'm now we're gonna see you on your own streaming service. Yeah, I'm gonna say right, this though. I did are. I did do uh like a few movies as an extra. You know what uh, I mean? Right. Yeah. Okay. I I had to test the waters a little bit. I didn't really like it too much, but it was all right. It was cool. That's uh, fine. Yeah, you might be with a little Wait, yeah. celebrity right yeah. I didn't even know. I'm, I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like an autograph after this. Yeah. Yeah. What's up? Word. <laughs> but yeah, so I would say that just really just pouring into people, um, helping them see the value in their business, like helping them see beyond just, you know, doing it for the world. Cause right. If we doing this stuff for the world, that a world that is not even going to be here in the end. Mm -hmm. oh. What are you doing that's really going to help you uh, eternally? How are like you uh, helping another person mm -hmm. eternally? Mm -hmm. Your spirit yeah. lives on forever. Yeah, your purpose should always be bigger than you. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Cosan, I, I love that. I love that. I, I can relate. Nuski can relate. Mm -hmm. First, you know what no, definitely. And that's why we all connected. Now. Okay, so when it comes to bag talk, right? Mm -hmm. Every guest we bring on, oh lord, <laughs> every, it's, 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 it's nothing bad. It's nothing no, bad. Okay, okay, okay. Every <laughs> guest we bring on, we ask them to give our listeners some bag talk. Mm -hmm. So get them in their bag. Give them some bag talk. Give them a gem mm -hmm. that they could take with them and be like, "Wow, I remember when Shanine Money said this." You know. So what is some a gem you could give people? About anything. Um, anything. Yeah, literally anything yeah. you want. Whatever come out the heart, right? You work in faith. You just plug it. Whatever come out. Um, in all honesty, like I said, uh, definitely, please, please, please. We are in the end times. Everything that we're looking at right now is not going to be here. Everything that we're physically working for, it won't be here. So at the end of the day, if you're not doing something to develop yourself spiritually, to provide value spiritually, whether it's in your business, whether it's personally, whatever it is, mm -hmm. it, it, it like I said, it's gonna, it's not gonna be here. It's not. I'm not gonna say. Uh, I don't think "not important" is the best word to use, but um, it's not priority. It's not priority. Right. What's priority or what should be priority? is your spirit man the one that's inside yeah how is it impacting the next person that you're sitting next to or you may be speaking to and then how is it going to travel to the next person so that the next person can be impacted as well mm -hmm. that's, that's about biz that's business in general relationships yeah. all throughout invest fest i kept hearing about relationships Facts. heavy and that's the value in it but a lot of people are missing that key point is understanding yourself mm-hmm that self-awareness is going to help you with your personality and building and understanding who you are. Yeah. I give praise to Jesus Christ and, and, and my Lord and Savior mm -hmm. because it, without him, I wouldn't understand who I am in the kingdom. True. Without that, I don't have a business. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to serve people. Because right. my flesh, I, I can't do it myself. Right. right. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's not... It don't go nowhere, you know what I mean? So that's what I would say. That's that's the cha chain y'all can get from me. That's the bad right. talk for me, you know what I mean? Um mm -hmm. that's really it. Like I, I I admire the fact, um, and I just wanted to say this, I, mm -hmm. I love what you guys are doing. Um I would love to be a part of it even yeah. more down the line because um I feel like the potential of what I see is much better greater and in, and in a sense um like i said it's about impacting people y'all are touching a subject finances like i didn't get to learn about this stuff in school mm -hmm. at the end of the day to have some people that i can talk to as business owners and they get into a bag and they show it's called bag talk <laughs> <laughs> like come on nah, i appreciate like, it you appreciate know what i mean it, and they teaching like they giving gems, they and then they bring in other people on the platform that they value their time, and then they're also giving gems as well from mm -hmm. their different perspectives and walks of life. How better can it get? Now we're gonna we're gonna do a lot, but this this is something else I just thought about, right? So I think there's a lot. I I know there's one person obviously photography. We were just you know our, our friend, but um basically there's a lot of people watching right now that probably want to know like what 
how can they one get in touch with you mm -hmm. obviously right where can they follow you all that but the mentor like the mentorship part of it like can you explain really really quickly to people listening right now who do you look to mentor like what is that ideal person like what say they're struggling with something right um and they want to come to you mm -hmm. how can you help them exactly right and who what kind of person are you looking for because i want that's how i want to kind of wrap this up so people can reach out to you right absolutely um really a person that really is trying to identify their purpose um especially with this whole business thing like yep. um i work with actual business owners not just photographers and videographers mm -hmm. so like even the coaching program like if you just come to me and you got a graphic design business um you know what i mean i i can help you nurture that and, and get yourself started um as well as my idea and what i would do going forward or what my mentors have showed me and then give it to you and give you the information and resources so that you can you know kind of uh scale in that way um as well as the photographers and videographers that's just starting out a lot of people don't they just got simple questions like what kind of camera that you want to what kind of camera should i buy i'll tell you off the rip it's no best fancy camera out here it's really geared towards what you need it for mm -hmm. right same thing with the lenses the lens just tell the story you know what i mean so at the end of the day it's just providing that emotion in the story you get what i'm saying so you know of course there's technical stuff that i also teach in there um you know your settings and how to properly do all of that stuff so that way you know exactly what you're looking for mm -hmm. um in, in in a scene and that you're not you know you got your lighting and everything is, is good and it looks good i teach all of that as well um but like i said the ideal person is somebody that's just starting out um even if you're not just starting out and you, you're looking to scale your business i mean I can also help you with that. Like I said, I do the whole thing where it's like just regular influencers or uh, business owners. You know, I help with that as well. Bet, bet. And where can they find you? Like, what's your social and all that? We, we're going to put it in the description, but go ahead and say it. Absolutely. Too. It's going to be in the link below. So not <laughs> uh, nah, but Kasuti Films is my company. Um, Kasuti Films uh, on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Uh, what else? What else am I on? I don't know. Yeah, TikTok. TikTok. Yeah, she's you know everywhere. I mean? uh, oh, and I am Shanine personally. If you want to reach me personally, like mm -hmm. I said, I do private one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching and then also community group coaching as well. That's fire. Nah, so this this was dope. I'm not going to lie. This was actually fire. For real. Um, we're going to talk off camera, so I got to wrap this up real quick for y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, everyone watching, if you're still watching, thank you. Uh, please make sure you check all her information out because y'all will get some gems, right? And hopefully you guys liked it. Please make sure you like comment and subscribe to the channel show. plus hit that little notification bell because we drop two videos a week and you don't want to miss them what are y'all doing man but we're gonna <laughs> wait 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 wait, wait. Uh, go ahead cut <laughs> <laughs> peace peace <laughs>